Hey guys, my name is Russian Badger, and we are playing on Oasis, and we're also defending. And this is going to be one of those videos where I don't chop up any of it. It is just one whole base defense to full 10 minutes, and hopefully you guys enjoy that. I've never really understood whether you guys like the whole slicing and chopping of a 30-minute attacking game, or if you like maybe a 30-minute maybe a 30-minute attacking game. I show you the last two objectives, which might be around 10 minutes. Or if you just like seeing an entire game that's just only last 10 minutes, so I like to bring you guys a defense and a full game, as in a non-sliced and diced game every once in a while. And as you can see here, I'm also using the iron sights. The iron sights on the AK-971 are also wonderful, as you can see, as I absolutely sniped that guy just a few seconds ago. And it's all about controlling your recoil and really burst firing. That's all it comes down to. And I mean, I can easily say that the AEK is, in my opinion, the worst assault rifle. And even being the worst assault rifle, it's really not that bad. But I would definitely say that it is not the best assault rifle. It's probably the worst, in my opinion. But the iron sights definitely do make it better. And I definitely consider the AEK-971 to be a burst rifle, not a, not a tap rifle. And I think just because the recoil can be so modest at some of the longer ranges that... If you fire in, I, I want to say one, two shot bursts. I mean, three can sometimes work, but I usually, I usually do th around three round bursts with an ACOG scope. But with the iron sights, I like to do around one to two round bursts. But then again, you can be slightly cavalier with your ammo, especially when shooting those guys in those upper hills to my right, simply because you have unlimited ammo. I mean, come on. It's only going to take you a few seconds to reload as it is, so it's not hurting you in any way to shoot em empty the magazine and I know a lot of you say actually you know what I'm gonna say clip because I know a lot of you hate it when I say clip because oh man it, it's a magazine why are you saying clip and I, I don't know why I read the comments like that guy from unforgivable like give me a chicken sandwich and some waffle fries for free uh, I don't know why I read the comments that's just the voice that goes into my head but I think I'd almost like to call it clip because it just infuriates those of you that get so angry when I say clip instead of magazine. So whether it's a clip or a magazine, stop sitting in the corner, you dirty catfish. Well, Auf Wiedersehen, he's, he's dead now, and wir brauchen einen Arzt. I, I don't feel like saying that because I feel like I'm going to need to know that phrase in an emergency and I'm going to say it with such a... That's, that's another story. I'm going to get back to the gameplay now. Okay. And also, the reason that I'm using iron sights is obviously because of Vietnam. Now, it's... I really didn't realize this previously, but there was such a tremendous advantage in using iron sights over scopes. There's not a whole lot that an ACOG scope will do for you close range. And this is kind of the way that I think about it. Okay. At longer ranges, is where, or medium ranges, technically, is where the ACOG scope excels, okay? But then again, when you're going in medium to longer range engagements, you can always find cover. He's probably not going to hit you and kill you if he's this far away. Like if he's up in the hills, you can easily find cover before he's going to kill you because he's not going to he's not going to kill you instantly from that from that range. It's going to take him a little while, probably going to take him a full clip and you can easily find cover in that time. Now that's different at close range. At close range, they can kill you very quickly, not only because the bullet damage is higher, but because I mean, you, you're a larger target at closer range, so I think that an ACOG scope is not always the best decision, and as you can see here, I can definitely hit people with that iron sight, and I really think that the close range combat is where you die predominantly. I mean, that the longer range is, it's always easier to find cover because that guy's not going to kill you instantly, so hopefully you guys know what I'm speaking about when I say this, but I definitely think at this point that iron sights are much more valuable in so, so many different ways. And you can definitely say that an iron sight is so much better on a weapon than a red dot sight because obviously a red dot sight is going to occupy the slot of a specialization while iron sights enable you to use lightweight, extra grenades, and so forth. So definitely using iron sights and getting that extra specialization instead of a scope is definitely, definitely something that's very, very valuable. And I didn't even realize how, how efficient I was. I'm not trying to just brag about it. Just, oh, I'm so good with my iron sights. I can shoot anybody in the face that I want. It's, it's not like that at all. At all. It's just, I can definitely kill people just as efficiently with iron sights as I can with ACOG scopes. And you can also tell, something that I usually do employ, and this is an odd occurrence here, okay? I, I, 
the 40 millimeter grenade is not going to hit him from there, so I went double Wesley Snipes, and then I jump in here, and give me your sandwich. Oh, I don't, I don't get how he didn't flinch. That, that, that kill was not as cool as I thought it was. It was running through my brain. I thought, this is going to be so awesome, man. It's like, yeah, no, it's, it's actually not. It's, he didn't even flinch. It was like a delayed reaction. Sometimes that happens. But there's also a occurrence later on that I want to point out to you guys that really infuriates me. But I was not the victim of the whole occurrence. It was more so the other guy that, that fell victim to the, to the happening that I'll describe to you later. But even here, it's, it's not like an inconvenience if I'm using iron sights here. Because it's not a huge deal if I, if I don't hit him from long range. I can easily take cover. He's not going to kill me. But then at closer ranges... It's also just blatantly easier at closer ranges to use an iron sight because you can aim down sight, you can make your bullets a lot more accurate, and you're not, with, with an ACOG scope, it's, it's just too much. It's like you're zooming in too far, and, and it's not, it's not like ergonomically efficient to use an ACOG scope at such close ranges, and sometimes the hip fire on some weapons can be unsatisfactory, and curve the bullet. That is just like, I feel like that should be a scene out of Wanted, but then again, it's a rocket, it's not a bullet, so... And then again, Angelina Jolie, I, I don't... I don't think she could curve a rocket with your mind. I'd like to see you do that. I just curved a rocket. You can only curve bullets, so I can curve rockets, and... Obviously, rockets are much more detrimental than bullets. I mean, obviously, right? Because bullets can't... Or, most bullets, your little forty-five caliber round, they can't penetrate a tank. I can explode a tank. How does that feel, Miss Jolie? Or, Frau Jolie? Jolie? If that makes any sense. And then sometimes my accuracy is just awful like this. It's just blatantly awful. And then here's what I'm talking about right here. Okay, look. I'm out of ammo for that, out of ammo for that. I shoot him. He's blatantly around the corner. And that happens to me all the time. I don't know... And I think I've told you guys this before, I definitely have told you guys this before, but it's just kind of infuriating when it happens where I'm clearly around the corner and Wesley snipes. You see, sometimes bad accuracy can pay off because it's, then instead of shooting your gun, you're just going to throw a grenade and then it's going to absolutely explode this man's legs open. And I know that's sort of graphic and as tut me light, but... I am sorry about that graphic language. Maybe maybe I should get less descriptive about my Wesley Snipes. Moving on from that, about the corner issue, I know we all share it. I know we all do. I don't know if it's lag. Uh, some people even told me it's Destruction 2.0 because there's some kind of hitbox mechanism when you're going around a corner. Like if that, if the terrain, it's something like the hitbox is the same if the terrain is broken and if the terrain is still up. So, somehow, the, well, I, I, that's not really descriptive. Somehow, Destruction 2.0 might affect the whole corner thing. And what I mean by the corner thing is, I, my whole body, my entire torso, both of my legs, are clearly around the corner, but he still killed me. Like, that, that's, that's one of the only fur, er, infuriating or frustrating things with the game at this point. It's just, come on, man, I'm clearly around the corner, and he still killed me. Unless you're Angelina Jolie, yet again, you can curve bullets around corners, which you cannot. You didn't kill me, and it's just frustrating sometimes. But that's just what we have to deal with. I mean, maybe it's lag, and that should be expected. No, Battlefield's never going to be perfect, but it is just annoying sometimes. Just, I was clearly behind cover. He clearly just did Oh, Check out the bounce on that guy. Uh, he might want to go back to flight school and get his wings again because well he's dead so I don't think he'll be needing those but I like to show you an entire full I mean I don't want to say totally great game of defense but it's definitely great to see a, a full game of defense with seeing every single thought process that goes through my head and exactly what I'm doing all the time the slice and dice doesn't always bring that and I'm, I'm really happy to do this with the with the elongated full games and it's so easy to approach that rock a lot of them try to hide behind there but you've got the angle on them oftentimes you can't they can't see you if you're gonna flank the right side just the right side of the rock and definitely pick up a lot of kills there but they're just foolish they're just asinine for even thinking that going up the middle is ever going to be effective on oasis unless you're using a tank but with that being said i want to thank you guys for watching and 
Guten Morgen, guten Tag, guten Abend und gute Nacht. Auf Wiedersehen, bis bald und frohe Weihnachten. Und das ist alles, ja? Ja, auf Wiedersehen. Oh